All right, I'm gonna try to give a overview in five minutes or less of the Austin 7 post office special, as I'm calling it. So my first Austin 7, there's me in it grinning. So there's some pictures I put together of some uh, Austin 7s I'm trying to emulate. So it's not any one particular one. I really like this oddball right here. Um, kind of has the GN spider look uh, that uh, Zach did. Um, and I got to sit in at uh, Huntsville. Really like the iconic look of it. That What he called it? The hatchet uh, look going down the road. So kind of a node to uh, Zach and that cool look. But i uh, got a place in my heart for Austin 7s because I made my first one. And then uh, sold it, moved here to New Mexico, and then I made the Blitz and Benz. Blitz and Benz is cool, but I wanted something light that's lighter, smaller, and British. So I'm making this turd back here behind me. And, you know, there's a million Austin 7s. Austin 7s were, the, you know, the equivalent of the Model T. So they made a metric shit ton of the damn things. And uh, this one of the styles, well, not one of the styles, but there's many styles that were done at Brooklyn's, Brooklyn's Racers. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I like the uh, the head fairing uh, coming down the back. This one's like he didn't even try to curve it. It's just a straight shot down behind and a really high cowl. I don't know if I'm going to get the high cowl, but um, I like the, the funky uh, head fairings uh, coming down. So I'm going to maybe, maybe try to do that um, in this one. So Austin 7s are transverse leaf spring, which we got here grill piece there um it's a i'm using a speedway whatever these shackles are and those perches and then it's a trailer the smallest trailer leaf spring that i can get and frankly it's it's a bit stiff and heavy if there was a way an easy way to cut these um i'd do that so that so i get a little bit more suspension because it's really really stiff but it works um Pardon me, dirty hands, spitting on my fingers. Uh, the Magic Midget, another inspiration car, even though it's an MG. I just kind of like the swoopy arrow of it. Um, uh, the Gordon England. Uh, they, they had a lot of fairings on theirs. Uh, a lot. Of, there was the uh, uh, the Gordon England Seven. There was bodies basically you you bought from Gordon England, Gordon, and they it would uh, kit out your. Uh, your uh, Austin 7 for, for racing. There was the Ulster also. And this particular one was 1923. Um, Southampton, Suntonians, and Friends. You can actually see it says Austin Special on the back of it. There's a front shot. My fronts, I'm not going to do this arrow front one, though I do like it. Uh, it's a little problematic uh, to want to do it on my cycle cart behind me. So I'm not, not that I'm trying to take the easy way out, but I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm doing a little bit of a mix of a couple different styles. So, and I want the uh, I want the the axle a little bit exposed. I'm gonna put a license plate in front of it, and a couple different uh, fairings going on back here. That's a really really cool cool neat fairing there. So my. My build on this, this is not your typical uh, cycle cart with a 1x3 um, rectangular steel frame. Um, I'm using 1 inch square tubing, uh, the, uh, the 14 gauge stuff, and I'm particularly paying attention to how I did this rear section so that I can disassemble a thing and literally mail it. I, uh, I, want, I want to be able to put it in the mail and mail it through the post office. Ergo, the post office special. And inside there's aluminum that's, uh, that fits inside the tubes right there. Um, I haven't done the top piece yet. That helps anchor it. It's a space frame, Austin. And it's me diddling, diddling. I didn't actually end up doing exactly as it, as it looks right there. Um, so here goes my drawings. This is the last bit of drawings I got before I, uh, I went and did it. And, and I figured out to make this back section with these two pieces together that I could, so that I could bolt them together. Then the top piece, and then the, this, I got aluminum slugs in there of thick, uh, square stock. Um, this is what I'm talking about. So, 
so this piece is uh, completely separate from from this piece and so should have disassembled it a little bit it's a uh, and it bolts together uh, sleeve grade 8 bolts and then sleeves all the way through so you don't crush the tubes um, and there's a total of uh, six of these yeah two two on each side and then there's no lighting but there's two down there at the bottom and then I slugged it uh, down here, so going through this is a solid aluminum slug. So I've been in it, jumping in it, jumping up and down on it, so if it breaks, it's not going to be that point. And somebody's probably looking at this and going, what in the hell is that going on there? But uh, I put the, this, this uh, piece coming out to locate the axle, and I, and I did this so that I could, I could raise the ride height. So in theory, I could unbolt this and put a spacer in between these two. And then that will uh, raise the ride height a little bit. Because static, it's like two and a half inches. It's pretty low. <laughs> um, but it's so short that I'm not really worried about the breakover. Um, it's a very short wheelbase. Like, I, I, it's like super short. Like 56 inches or something like that. Really, really short. Um, so short, kind of thinking about lengthening it. But where, where are we at right now? Um... And uh, the, the, the approach and departure angles are fantastic, obviously. So that's not so bad. But the uh, but yeah, it's got a really, really low ride height. And it's not at ride height right now. I got it up on jack stand, so it's not really a good uh, indicator of what it is. Um, you know, these, these uh, one-inch square tubes, uh, you know, you know I, I was concerned about their strength because they're pretty light. I mean, if you, you, know, if you pick up a one-inch square tube, I mean, there's there, there ain't much to it, and it's just 14 gauge. It's not, you know, super heavy stuff. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, only two uh, 14 gauge one inch square tubes, but I'm gonna get strength from the skin. So this is O um, uh, O five O. This is O five O aluminum. So I'm going to do the sides in 050, and I did the floors already. Um, you can't really see them in there, but um, got the floors in there. And these uh, sides, which I'm, I'm painstakingly riveting the shit out of. So every three quarters of an inch up here and every one inch here and there. And I'll do these other two side pieces, and I'm going to skin this back piece as well. So there shouldn't be any concern of, of the body uh, torquing or giving or anything. I, 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 I was a little bit worried about it. You know, I call this the experiment, but, uh, um, and it is an experiment, but, uh, uh, you know, when I first started it, I, I was thinking, well, if it sucks, I'll just rip it apart. And then all the, the pieces, I'll just, I'll just make a regular cycle cart. But as I get going along here, I think it's going to be all right. Now, how it handles with a really short wheelbase, that has yet to be seen. <laughs> I don't know if it'll stay straight going down. It may be pretty squirrely at high speed, but that has yet to be seen. We got we'll have to see about that. Um, we did a test. I had Ted um, get inside it. My son, he got in it, and we fired it up, and the brake worked. So let me talk about the brake real quick. Let me show you what I got going on over here. Oh, you're not going to see anything, are you? I I hugged this thing right up against the inside of the frame. Um, that sprocket is basically, there's no spacer between the sprocket and the, uh, and the pivot bearing. The sprocket goes right up against it. And then, and then I got a, a, uh, a, a collar on the other side of the, uh, brake disc, uh, holding it in. So normally, you know, you got to do a collar on both sides of the brake. Well, this sa saves you having to do one collar. Um, and it got me, it got the brake rotor, wow, it's dark in here, it got the brake rotor, <laughs> it got the, uh, the brake caliper all the way over to the side, so you just can't see what's going on, but I used one of, uh, Mark Parnell's Renegade, uh, uh, uh one of those brake mounts, and I just mounted the thing, uh, on this, it, it, he made it so you can mount it on the, on your cross member of a, of a conventional cart, of course, this isn't the conventional style, so um, I had to put this stringer in going across 
and then it's mounted underneath there. And then I, I just did another piece of heavy angle, which comes down the side, and you just can't see my booger welds. It's probably good that it, you can't see, because you can't see how bad my chicken shit welds look. And then it goes down to a, a cross member down there, and that cross member ties in the central cross member, which holds the motor mount. And there's your motor mount down there. Yeah, you can't see anything. We're 10 minutes into this, uh, 1040 into this thing, so I suppose I ought to wrap it up. A lot of uh, and umming. Well, I mean, <laughs> it came along pretty quick. <laughs> this is my third one. It's amazing how fast they go once you, uh, once, once you build your first one. You really can't just make one. You kind of got to make a bunch. Um, one thing I did for uh, quirkiness and cuteness is I've, I put a little bit of positive caster I tried to give it at one and a half degree out. So I don't know if you could kind of see, but uh, the wheels, the front wheels lean out. And there's no KPI. I, I, I ordered a, a spindles and parts from Mark, but uh, uh, wasn't able to get them, you know, no big deal. I had, I had to wait a little bit. So in the meantime, while I was waiting to get them, uh, um, I just put the Azusa stuff on there and uh, and uh, so there's no KPI, but it looks it looks cute as heck and weird <laughs> with the positive camber, so uh, caster rather. So we'll see how that goes. Um, do have camber? I think I got. Uh, I can't remember. I think I got six degrees. I don't know if you can see in there that this angle is different from the that angle. So that that's the lean back. And um, at this atta attaching point right here, I can uh, shim this which further cants the, uh, the front axle, gives you even more uh, camber. And then the locating arms are just uh, um, um, whatever these heim joint are, bits are, and I had to extend them. Don't look at my crappy welds here. Um, go, into the, uh, go into the axle there. And obviously I'm not ashamed of my terrible welds to show them at this point in the game. Uh, you know, we're, we're almost all the way through mock-up, so it still has to be disassembled and, you know, turned upside down and finish welded and uh, gone over with a fine-tooth comb. It also has to be assembled and disassembled to see that I can break it down. Um, yeah, the, the reason why it's so short, the primary reason why it's so short is because this section is the biggest section and it needs to be um, length, or rather it needs to be height plus height plus width times two uh, plus length under 130. That's your, uh, that's the magic solution for being able to send something in the mail and it has to be under 75 pounds. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be good on the weight um, with just the main, with just this front section, take the front axle off obviously and the rear section off. And if I can put that part in the mail, then I know I can mail all the other parts. And, uh, and, uh, then I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I'll be able to do that. So there you go. All right, so I didn't really do like a whole bunch of videos like I did for the Blitz and Bends on this guy. I just did this one. Um, we'll probably wait until we get uh, ready to go do a test, which could be in two weeks. Um, this coming weekend we got plans, so I'm not gonna be able to do it then, but, um, or maybe, maybe before we get out of here before this weekend, I'll be able to give it a test, we'll see. But the next video will be a test um, uh, on a dirt road in a remote location, and we'll see how it we'll see how it goes.